Hey guys, it's Ben here. Um, finally getting outside to do this uh, duck decoy trick here for you. Um, it's another DIY. Um, there's actually three things I want to share with you. Uh, the duck decoy anchor, your boat anchor, and then how to rig up uh, duck decoys to make it really simple and fast for cleanup on those really cold mornings. But uh, first we're going to start with um, I'm going to walk through on how to do everything and then I'll actually show you how to do it. But uh, one of the biggest things that I find, and I found a lot of decoys, is that people have their duck decoys, they go to the store, they buy those, you know, three ounce weights, and, you know, they, they tie them onto their string, and next thing you know, the wind picks up and poof, they're gone. Well, this is the perfect way to have your duck decoy set up and you never ever have to worry about losing as long as you got enough line now if you put you know if you're in eight foot of water and you put it only five foot down yeah your duck decoy is going to go off the middle of nowhere but uh what we have here i should come up to the camera so you can see what we have here is a miniature anchor and now my dad has been using these since long before i even ever started hunting and all that's in this, we have concrete, some washers in there that you can see because the concrete didn't settle right. And the best line to use is either duck decoy line or old fly line. This fly line, it doesn't knot up as easy as anything nylon out there or fishing line or anything like that. And I found that this fly line is actually, it works the best for me. But, uh, what you'll need to make these is, and it can be extremely cost efficient too, because if you got a half bag of concrete sitting around somewhere, it's the best way to just use it up and then you don't gotta buy anchors. But uh, what you need is some three ounce bath cups. Now these are the paper ones. You have to have the paper ones. Uh, if you use the plastic or the wax coated ones, the water can't evaporate out of it and it just takes forever to dry. But you need that. And I couldn't find the fly line, so I have some old duck decoy line here. And if you don't have washers, all you need is I have these old, old, old nails that I just tie on. And you need that so whenever it's in there, like in the cup and the concrete hardens, there's just something else pulling. Um, and that's all you need to do. You mix up the concrete, stick this down in it, tap it a bunch to get it all moving around, get the air bubbles out of it, let it dry. You're done. The next thing I want to share, share with you, and this goes, we'll stay with the duck decoys thing here. As you saw on the end of that anchor, probably there was a loop. Well, you take some number one swivels and you take, you tie it off to your decoy, and these are the green head gear duck decoys. Uh, the Fraybill ones have the keels that are notched here and work better for storing this. But uh, just wrap it up and then it goes right in the keel. It's nice and neat. But anyways, you tie on this number one swivel. This is about the biggest swivel my Walmart has. And I know some people around different areas, they carry monster sized swivels. But these are number one swivel. And in cold weather, you can do one of two things. You can take your duck decoy anchor, attach it to one, stink it. The next thing you do, take that, hook it right onto here. So when you go to clean up your decoys, all you gotta do is gather up that one with the anchor on it and all your other decoys come in with it. A lot of guys know about this, um, the diver duck guys, uh, the big open water guys, but it's something a lot of people in smaller areas don't even think about. But it's just something whenever the water's down to 30 degrees, well not even 30 degrees, when it's down, I wanna say when it's 20 out and the wind's blowing and you want those decoys in, it's nice and simple. Um, but back to all this, the final thing I'm going to show you here is how to make your own boat anchor. Now, it's not going to hold your big lines 
or anything, but I found that in my little 12 foot aluminum that I have, and in kayaks and smaller size boats, probably anything under, I want to say 12, 13 feet, uh, they don't hold alone. But what I have found is in my big lund, I add this anchor to my other anchors and it helps keep me from twisting and turning, especially like when I'm anchored up on like a fallen down tree or something like that. But uh, what I got here, this is an eye bolt. I'll come up close again. This is an eye bolt here. And this is one of my uh, flanges that I make my uh, trap stabilizers at. But some oversized washers will do the exact same thing. Uh, I just have that attached there. And then I prefer chain over rope because the chain takes longer to wear out than the rope will. But I have it attached there. And then I had a swivel to it. Swivel is definitely not necessary. It's just something. I also use these anchors a lot for drowning sets for beavers. So that's why I added that. And this is an 8-pack of the new Bud, Budweiser or Bowtie cans. Um, but if you use half of a 12-pack, that works just as well. You drop it down in, fill it with your concrete, tap it out, make it so it's nice and pretty in there. Let it dry. About a, it takes only about a day to dry. And you got yourself a boat anchor. And all of this, to do all of this, it doesn't take very long at all. It doesn't take long. And if you got the most expensive thing I have here is a bag of concrete. And this is an old bag of concrete that I bought for a project for the house. So I'm just getting it done. But I'm going to mix up some concrete and I'll speed things up here for you and I'll show you what everything looks like when it's done. Be right back. finished products. New anchor, new duck decoy. And I put them in the shed here, let them dry. But honestly, by the time it took me to get there, get back here, get done, it was seriously 10 minutes. But uh, that's some uh, little helpful t hint for you, another DIY project for you to try. Hope you like it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys.